I've got another quick treat idea for you today. Need some quick gifts for um, students, for teachers, for co-workers. These are great. You can really do these for any occasion, but I chose to do them for Christmas. This was one of the projects at my appreciation open house this year. What I love is it's just a special way to package up a candy bar. You can cut your paper accordingly. You just want to make sure that it's wide enough to wrap around your candy bar. I'm going to actually steal my candy bar out of this one. And you know, not all candy bars are the same size. So you're really just going to figure out where it will wrap around. I'm going to add so my piece of this particular candy bar is six inches long. So my piece is six inches long. And I don't want to wrap it so tight that my candy bar won't slide out. So I slide that candy bar out. We're going to take our one fourth inch hole punch, which actually is on the clearance rack right now. If you don't have a good handheld hole punch, it's only $5.40, and I love the nice soft rubber that, or it's almost like silicone, on the handle. To measure my ribbon, it's, I just wrap it around my holder and give myself just a little bit of extra room at the top. And then the ribbon slides through. You don't need as wide a ribbon, but the wide ones really look nice, and they also make for a little bit easier pull. Then you just slide your candy bar down in, bring the ends together, and then I just took a piece of the twine, a, a couple pieces of color, and added that around the top, that coordinate. My tag was made using the circle, layering circle framelits, which are on sale for half price right now. And the Jolly Hat Builder Punch, how cute is that? That's on sale too for only $9.60 instead of $16. So these would be great stocking stuffers, but so with the tools that I use to make these. So thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you'll give this candy bar holder a try.